these uh, 4th of July cards. I hope all of you have got them. What they're doing, these cards are talking about freedom. You know, we're coming up onto the 4th of July this coming weekend. And this, you know, every year America stops just to honor our brave men and women throughout history that have given their life the ultimate sacrifice for freedom. And we need to do that. We can never forget them. We've got young men and women overseas today guaranteeing our freedoms, the freedom of, of speech. I'm exercising that freedom right now. We're on a public sidewalk and we're free to speak out as Americans. So, you know, the ultimate freedom is what we need to know about. You know, what these cards talk about is an even more greater freedom, Jesus Christ. He died to provide the greatest freedom that we could ever hope to, to have, and that's the freedom from sin and death. Now, what, what's going on here is that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's what the Bible's clear on. Now, you're thinking, oh, man, this guy, he's a hellfire and brimstone preacher, and he's just trying to scare us. No, let me, let me explain it to you because I'm definitely not that, but I do want to tell you the truth. You know, your mama always said that the truth hurts, so i got to tell you the truth, but I want to give you the good news with that truth as well. Now, what it is, since we've all sinned, we're all confined in that sin, we're slaves to that sin, and you think, well, you know what, I'm a pretty good person, I don't think I'm a sinner, I don't feel that bad, but just examine yourself in the light of God's law. God in His law says, Thou shalt not bear false witness. Think about how many times you told lies in your life. When I examine myself in the light of that law, I've told a lot of lies in my life. Now here's the scary part of that law. Jesus, in, uh, in the, back there in the book of Revelation, this Revelation 21.8, that verse says that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. So what do you got to do to be an all liar? You tell one lie. If I lied to any one of you, you all would say, you liar. That's all it takes, one lie, and you get the prize. Now, another aspect of that law is it says that you shall not steal. You examine your life. What have you stolen throughout your life? We've all stolen something, whether it be something small as a child or whether it be something big even on into our lives. So we're all thieves. The Bible says that no thief will inherit the kingdom of God. Now, listen to this. We've got another sin upon our back, which is that the sin of adultery. Jesus said that if you look upon a woman to lust after her, you have already committed adultery with her in your heart. Now, examine yourself in light of that law. We're all guilty under that. So he says that, that no fornicator, thief, or adulterer will inherit the kingdom of God. So we're all guilty of that. And here's where the, where the freedom comes into it. Jesus Christ, who was fully God and fully man, came to this earth. And He took on all of that sin. And He was crucified on a cross. And He bore the burden of that sin. God the Father poured out His wrath upon Him to pay the fine. Because remember, all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. So a fine had to be paid. This was like an illegal transaction is what it was. So when He died on the cross, that completed that part.